In my research, I'm looking to study how atmospheric chemistry transforms emissions and makes them more harmful than those that are originally emitted. The smog chamber that we have here at the School of Public Health is the only outdoor smog chamber in North America. Uh, we use real sunlight to generate the photochemistry that we see in the smog chamber. In addition, the smog chamber is on, on the roof of the McGavern Greenberg building, which is directly connected below it to a laboratory. This permits us, and no other uh, facility in the world, to generate the pollutants that are harmful due to photochemistry in the smog chamber directly above in the roof, but then bring those pollutants down into the lab and expose them to lung cells. The Gillings Innovation Lab will permit me to uh, deliver two products. Uh, the first product is, is taking this unique biosensor that we have that measures the health effects of the atmosphere and taking it out of the laboratory and developing a prototype that's field portable. And with the biosensor itself, we can measure what is the real health effect to a mixture of pollutants uh, that's, that most people are exposed to. The second product that we're going to have is to identify the chemistry and the products that are occurring in the atmosphere. These things are currently unknown and not measured. Uh, so with the smog chamber, that will provide us the opportunity to identify these truly causative agents. We have always understood that photochemistry transforms things, um, but what we, the missing piece that we didn't have was the lung cells to tell us what, if there's a difference, due to, uh, if there's a difference in, in toxicity, if there's a difference in health. The focus of the Gillings Lab is to investigate this chemistry to find out what exactly is causing this increase in toxicity. So it's, it's identifying these pollutants, and once these pollutants are identified, is then developing effective policy to control the sources of those pollutants. This was a, one of these interdisciplinary collaborative success stories that, that, you know, that people always talk about but we rarely see. And being in the School of Public Health and having an engineering department who's interested in atmospheric chemistry in the School of Public Health is a unique advantage that we have here at UNC that, that's nowhere else in the country. The Gillings Lab uh, saw this right away and they, and they allowed us to, and they provided us the seed money to A, produce this portable biosensor and B, to allow us to investigate the, the chemistry and, and the products that are occurring in the photochemistry that I can then put into my air quality model. And then those two things will provide epidemiologists, toxicologists, uh, regulators, uh, the, the true causative agents that are, are really causing our health effects uh, in space and time.